Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Um, I just wanted to bring you a little mini tutorial really. Um, for all you guys that uh, enjoy watching Twitch TV, you'll notice that a lot of streamers uh, will overlay their chat on top of their um, on top of their live stream on, on their uh, video player. So you'll notice uh, people use things like hex chat, um, IRC clients, X chat. Um, there's loads of different types. Uh, even Better TV, I think, is one as well. Um, the Twitch uh, mod for um, Google Chrome. Anyway, I found what I think is the best one that I will definitely the best one that I've used so far. Um, I was actually recommended it by a fellow streamer on his thread who was streaming and he was using it. I was like, you know what, dude, that's really cool. What chat client are you using? He was like, oh, I'm using Chatty. So I thought I'd go and uh, check it out. And yeah, here it is. So um, it's actually a Java application. So if you go onto Google and search for Chatty for Twitch, you'll get this website here getchatty.sourceforge.net. And it shows you sort of the things you can expect from it, uh, nickname colours, uh, emoticons, user icons, which is the thing that stuck out for me, because a lot of them don't show that. They just show the name of, like, the actual um, icon rather than the actual icon itself. Um, basically, loads of great customization on what you can do with it as well. Um, the first thing you need to do before you install Chatty is check out Java 7 Runtime. So if you click download Java, make sure you go to this page here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and install Java SE Runtime Environment 7. You have to have that running. Obviously choose your uh, preferred um, Microsoft uh, platform. So I'm using Windows 8 64-bit, so that was when I downloaded, installed it, yada yada yada. Make sure your Java stuff is up to date. Now once you've done that, you can click this one here, which is download the version. And obviously it's going to take a few seconds to actually install. Cool. So now it's going to... As you can see, install there. You can see I've already got it installed on my desktop, but I'm going to pretend like I haven't for the time being. You want a uh, application like WinRAR to extract it. And then what I did was I just made a folder. I'm going to call this one Chatty1. But you can just call it Chatty, or whatever you want to call it. I'll call it Chatty1. Etc. And then what we want to do is extract the contents of this folder to Chatty1, which is on my desktop, Chatty1. Cool. There we go. There is our um, folder, which is called Chatty1. Uh, I said mine's already called Chatty. So let's imagine you're using your one now, which is called Chatty. What you can do then, and I'll get rid of this window here, is open up the folder and double click on Chatty. And I've got mine on my other monitor here, so I'm going to bring it across. Yes, we'll connect. Jesus Christ, leave me alone. There we go. Right. Here we go. So this is Chatty, and as you can see, I've customised it here already, and I screen grabbed this portion that's just inside this window here uh, to overlay on OBS. But if I disconnect, I'll show you exactly what it comes up when it says to connect. So if we go to connect here, when you first log in to Chatty, it will ask you for this here, and it will say configure login, and it will say, um, let's imagine I'm doing it um, from the start. There we go. Request login data. And what we want to do is open the browser, and what that's going to bring up is this page here. And if you're logged into your Twitch already, which you should be, um, Chatty will receive the OAuth token. You can close it down, and then you can verify login. Ready to connect. So, obviously you're going to need to put your channel name in just here. So your channel name, mine's obviously Terahertz. Click connect. There we go. That is, that is you now connected to your um, chat. So, if I bring up another window just here and open up my Twitch page, I'll put them side by side so you can see. And just so how easy it is for it to work. I remember on the other web apps that I was using, the, um, the hex chat, you had to go through writing all these different server addresses and all this rubbish. Anyway, if I write test in here, there you go, you can see I've written it in there, and I've also, it's come up in my chat. So you're connected to your chat straight from this bit here. So anyone who writes anything here, will appear here, and vice versa if you write in there too. As you can see on the right hand side of it here, right there, you've got Nightbot and Moobot, which are my bots, and me. So these are the people that are currently in my chat. So what can we do to customise this then? Um, if we go to main, and then go to settings, there's a lot of different options we have. And let's just go through them quickly here so you can see. Firstly, font, pretty simple, you can select which font you want. Another thing as well, timeouts and banned. If someone spams your channel or writes a rude word that you don't want in there and gets banned by Nightbot, Moobot or Twitch, it will basically remove their last 50 characters and put lines through it, which is cool because it kind of means you can't read what it's saying. I turn my timestamp off so that when I actually, um, things are written, 
Um, you don't see a timestamp on the left hand side here. I turn that and keep that off. I don't want that on there. Capitalised names I keep off. Show stream and chat I keep off. Emotes. I want all the emotes because they're all really cool to have emotes in here. So um, I keep everything on there. Colours. So this is the colours here. So you can see the background colour I've set to black. This is because in OBS when I'm selecting the scene, it means that I can then um, basically make it see-through. So that it goes see-through on top of my uh, layout. So keep the background black. And if you did want to keep it black and just not uh, make it uh, green screened, then that's fine. You can leave it like it is. But I have it so that it sits on top of a see-through that box. Um, normal messages, most people want it in white to complement the black. You could have it vice versa. And all the other things here, when a mod joins, a message has been highlighted, etc, etc, etc. You can change all those by clicking choose and then choosing whichever desired colour you have. So, user colours. And this one is really quite good. What I've done is I've set it so you can see here, there are special items. So I go to add, and then I put the dollar sign, um, which is there, and mod. And then what I can do that means all my moderators can be whatever colour I choose. So I chose a light green, so you can choose light green. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it. You can see here, mod is light green, which means, as you can see here, I'm obviously a moderator because I'm the channel owner. It means that they're light green. You can change that to whichever colour you want, which is really nice and flexible. I've got no highlights set on either. I don't want anything highlighted on this chat because it will highlight on my screen as well. History, you can enable the history of your chat if you really want to. I don't have a need for it. It says it there, so I'm just going to clear history anyway. And you can see, it doesn't really do much other than uh, clear the history of your chat. Sounds, if you want sounds so when someone talks, which I can probably imagine is very annoying, um, turn that off. Obviously it's going to go bing, bing, bing every time someone actually writes on your, your page. Notifications are the same thing. Um, use chatting notifications in your trace. Down here, there will be a little chatty icon as you can see here. When one of the, your people who you follow goes online, chat will pop up with a little pop up. I've turned that off. I'm going to go and search who I want to go for anyway. Uh, login, this is one that uh, is quite annoying and I definitely, re definitely recommend turning uh, a lot of them off. So login mode is off, so that means that if someone in your chat is joining, you won't get a join and part message. I don't want it to say that uh, so and so has joined your stream, so and so has left your chat, so and so has joined, it's, that's really annoying for the chat. You just want the people who want to chat in there. So we basically untick mod and unmod, joins and parts, and I've got all the login modes off anyway. Window. Never use this. I think it's to do with the actual size of the window here, which I manually moved anyway, so that's no problem. Uh, graphic settings. So I've never used this before. I've just left it on the default stuff that is there. Uh, and advanced is this is the stuff that you used to have to put in for um, when you used to use hex chat and hex chat and things like that. IRC clients. You can see here it's already found the port number, already found the server number, and you can see here I've just got all this stuff here left as it is. Okay. So, obviously you can flick around, choose different fonts, choose some different colours to how you like it. Uh, and what you'll notice is um, it's a really, really streamlined and really, really well thought out app. I have it on my secondary monitor and uh, as I say, I grabbed just this region here. But what's really nice about it is it does show your, um, your uh, emotes in here. And if you have got um, people who are, uh, if you're a, uh, a partner, should I say, and you have subscriber uh, banners or little buttons, emotes, they'll pop up as well. And I think it just looks and feels really, really clean and really easy to use. I've never actually used any of the other stuff up here. Um, channel info. Uh, obviously, my stream's offline at the moment. That's quite cool. There you go. Max viewers. You can check out who's uh, viewing you as a max viewer account. Um, channel admin. That's for me. Obviously, I can change my uh, title just in here. Uh, run commercials if I want to. Obviously, I'm not partner, so I can't. Anyway. It's a really good lightweight app that runs from Java, it doesn't hog your CPU resources, and it's definitely something I recommend if you're going to overlay chat on your Twitch streams. I hope you found that video helpful, guys, and if you do like it, please remember to like and subscribe, and please feel free to ask me any questions about it. I've not used it too in-depth, but I should be able to work it out anyway, and cheers for Fred for uh, letting me know what it was all about, because it's a really good lightweight app. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later on.